Local government plays a crucial role in the development and administration of towns and villages in India. In this video, we will explore the two types of local governments in India, Panchayati Raj and urban local bodies. Hello everyone my name is Kishan Rabdiya and you are watching Inside India Politics channel. Panchayati Raj is a three-tier system of governance that was established in 1992 through the 73rd and 74th amendments to the Indian constitution. The lowest tier of Panchayati Raj is the Gram Panchayat, which exists in villages or groups of villages the head of the Gram Panchayat is called Sarpanch. The middle tier of Panchayati Raj is the Panchayat Samiti, which exists at the block level it consists of a group of Gram Panchayats the head of the Panchayat Samiti is called the Chairman. The highest tier of Panchayati Raj is the Zilla Parishad, which exists at the district level it consists of a group of Panchayat Samitis the head of the Zilla Parishad is called the Zilla Pramukh. Apart from Panchayati Raj, there are also urban local bodies in India the types of urban local bodies are municipal corporations, municipality, nagar panchayat, and cantonment board. Municipal corporation exists in big cities and metropolitan areas, while municipality exists in smaller towns and cities nagar panchayat exists in areas in transition from rural to urban, and cantonment board is responsible for the administration of areas that are under military jurisdiction. With these two types of local governments, India has taken steps towards decentralization of power and promoting grassroots democracy local governments play an important role in the development of the nation from the ground up. To learn more about local governments in India, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more informative videos. Let's take a closer look at Nagar Panchayat, which exists in areas in transition from rural to urban it is responsible for providing basic amenities like water supply, street lighting, and sanitation facilities to the people in its jurisdiction. Cantonment Board is responsible for the administration of areas that are under military jurisdiction it is responsible for providing basic amenities like water supply, sanitation facilities, and waste management services to the people living in the cantonment area. The head of the municipal corporation is called the Mayor Municipal Corporation exists in big cities and metropolitan areas it is responsible for providing services like water supply, sanitation facilities, waste management, and maintenance of roads and other public infrastructure. The head of the municipality is called the chairman it exists in smaller towns and cities municipality is responsible for providing basic services like water supply, sanitation facilities, and waste management to the people living in its jurisdiction. The highest tier of Panchayati Raj is the Zilla Parishad the Zilla Pramukh is responsible for overseeing the functioning of the Panchayat Samitis in its jurisdiction it is responsible for planning and implementing development programs and schemes in its area. Local governments in India play a vital role in the development of the nation they help in promoting grassroots democracy and decentralization of power by understanding the workings of Panchayati Raj and urban local bodies, we can contribute towards the betterment of our communities. Self-help groups, or SHGs, are another important aspect of local governance in India. SHGs are groups of women who come together for mutual support and to undertake income-generating activities. They are supported by local governments and other organizations through training, capacity building, and access to credit. Local governments also play a key role in organizing community development programs and initiatives. These can include health camps, literacy programs, skill building workshops, and cultural events. Local governments in India are also responsible for providing public services like issuing birth and death certificates, ration cards, and other important documents. Corruption, lack of funds, and political interference can hinder their ability to deliver services and make decisions that benefit their communities. Despite these challenges, local governments in India continue to play a vital role in the development and administration of towns and villages across the country. By working together with citizens and other organizations, they can overcome these challenges and create a better future for all. Taluk Panchayats are responsible for the administration of a group of Gram Panchayats in a Taluk or Block. Zilla Parishads are the highest tier of Panchayati Raj and are responsible for the administration of districts. They are responsible for planning and implementing development programs and schemes at the district level. Municipal corporations are responsible for the administration of big cities and metropolitan areas. They are responsible for providing services like water supply, sanitation facilities, waste management, and maintenance of roads and other public infrastructure. The state government is responsible for the administration of the state and is headed by the chief minister. It is responsible for formulating policies and implementing programs and schemes at the state level. Finally, the central government is responsible for the administration of the entire country and is headed by the Prime Minister. It is responsible for formulating policies and implementing programs and schemes at the national level. Local governments in India play a vital role in the development of the nation. They help in promoting grassroots democracy and decentralization of power. India is a vast country with a diverse population and varied geographical regions. 
local governments in India have to navigate a range of challenges to effectively deliver services and implement programs. One of the major challenges faced by local governments in India is the lack of basic infrastructure. Many villages and towns lack proper roads, water supply, and sanitation facilities. In cities, overcrowding and inadequate housing are major challenges. Local governments have to balance the needs of the rapidly growing urban population with the limited resources at their disposal. Agriculture is a major source of livelihood for millions of people in India. However, farmers face a range of challenges including a lack of access to credit, changing weather patterns, and outdated farming techniques. Poverty is another major challenge faced by local governments in India. Many people in rural and urban areas struggle to make ends meet and lack access to necessities like food, shelter, and healthcare. Education is another area where local governments face challenges. Many schools lack proper infrastructure, qualified teachers, and adequate funding. Despite these challenges, local governments in India continue to work towards creating a better future for their communities. By working together with citizens, civil society organizations, and other stakeholders, they can overcome these challenges and create a brighter future for all. One way local governments promote community involvement is through participatory planning processes. This involves engaging with citizens and local organizations to identify their needs and priorities and develop plans to address them. Local governments also promote community involvement through volunteering and community service. By working together to address local challenges, citizens can build stronger, more resilient communities. Through community health centers and other programs, local governments can improve the health and well-being of their communities. By investing in education infrastructure and providing access to quality education, local governments can empower their citizens to build better futures for themselves and their communities. Local governments in India play a critical role in promoting economic development and creating opportunities for their citizens. By supporting entrepreneurship and small businesses, they can help create jobs and build more prosperous communities. One way local governments support economic development is by promoting traditional crafts and industries. Through programs like technology parks and business incubators, they can create a supportive environment for entrepreneurs and businesses to grow and thrive. By investing in roads, ports, and other essential infrastructure, they can improve the efficiency of transportation and reduce the cost of doing business. By simplifying regulations, reducing bureaucracy, and providing incentives, they can attract businesses and investment to their communities, creating jobs and improving living standards. Discrimination based on caste, gender, and religion still exists in many parts of India, and local governments have an important role to play in promoting inclusion and social justice. Local governments also promote social justice through community participation and involvement. By creating opportunities for citizens to participate in decision-making processes and providing avenues for feedback and input, they can ensure that the needs and concerns of all citizens are heard and addressed. Through programs like homeless shelters and food banks, they can provide support and assistance to those who need it most, building more equitable and inclusive communities for all. Income inequality remains a major challenge in India, with the wealthiest 10% of the population earning nearly 60% of the country's total income. Local governments have an important role to play in addressing this inequality and promoting more equitable economic development. In rural areas, local governments can promote economic development by supporting agriculture and agribusiness. According to a report by the World Bank, agriculture and related activities account for nearly half of all employment in India. By supporting farmers with infrastructure, technology, and marketing support, local governments can help create jobs and build more prosperous rural communities. In urban areas, local governments can promote economic development by investing in infrastructure and creating a favorable business climate. According to a report by the Confederation of Indian Industry, Indian cities need an estimated $1.2 trillion in infrastructure investments by 2030. By investing in roads, bridges, and other essential infrastructure, local governments can reduce the cost of doing business and attract more investment to their communities. According to a report by the United Nations Development Programme, there is a strong correlation between education and income in India. By ensuring access to quality education for all, local governments can help level the playing field and provide opportunities for all citizens to succeed. Access to clean water and sanitation remains a major challenge in India, with over 163 million people lacking access to clean water sources. One way local governments promote access to clean water is by investing in water treatment and distribution infrastructure. According to a report by the National Institute of Urban Affairs, many Indian cities lack the infrastructure and capacity to provide safe drinking water to all their residents. By investing in water treatment plants and distribution networks, local governments can help ensure access to clean water for all. 
According to a report by the World Bank, over 600 million people in India lack access to basic sanitation facilities. According to a report by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, over 60% of healthcare in India is provided by the private sector. Local governments can promote public health by creating opportunities for physical activity and healthy lifestyles. According to a report by the World Health Organization, over 30% of adults in India are physically inactive, which contributes to a range of health problems. Local governments in India face many challenges in promoting public health, but they also have the power to create positive change. By investing in water and sanitation infrastructure, expanding access to healthcare services, and promoting healthy lifestyles, they can build more resilient and healthier communities for all. India is the world's second most populous country and home to over 1.3 billion people. With such a large population, promoting public health is a critical challenge, and local governments have a crucial role to play in this effort. One of the biggest public health challenges in India is air pollution. According to the World Health Organization, 22 of the world's 30 most polluted cities are in India. This is linked to a range of health problems, including respiratory illnesses and heart disease. Access to clean water is another major public health issue in India. According to a report by WaterAid, 163 million people in India lack access to clean water sources. According to a report by the Indian Council of Medical Research, physical inactivity is a major risk factor for chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease. Local governments can promote physical activity by investing in parks, recreation facilities, and other amenities that encourage people to be active. According to a report by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, 65% of healthcare in India is out of pocket, meaning that people must pay for medical expenses themselves. According to a report by the Central Pollution Control Board, India generates over 62 million tons of waste each year, much of which ends up in landfills or other unmanaged sites. This can lead to a range of health problems, including the spread of disease. Local governments can help address this issue by investing in waste management infrastructure and promoting public awareness of the importance of proper waste disposal. Local governments in India face many challenges in promoting public health, but they also have the power to create positive change. By addressing issues like air pollution, water access, physical activity, healthcare, and waste management, they can help build healthier and more resilient communities for all. Thanks for watching this video on the role of local governments in India. If you found this informative, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more educational content.